Good morning, everyone. It's Anifa Menon from HeartHealthBrainHealth.com, encouraging healthy grieving and mindful actions. Today, my thought process and contemplative time this morning has been all about the mind and our energies, of course. And of course, the mind contains a lot of our energies. And I thought I'd start with this quotation by Aristotle, which says, the energy of the mind mm -hmm. is the essence of life. The energy of the mind is the essence of life. And I certainly believe this. Now, the energy of the mind or the energy that allows our mind to function, our equipment of the mind, is what I believe is very much related to the soul energy. And soul energies definitely are affected by karma. And karma, of course, remember is, if I put an energy out, it is the energy that comes back to me. Now, it might not come back to me from the same person. So I say something to someone and someone says something to me, right? So let's say I say something not kind to someone and someone says something not kind to me. Now, that is my karma. So whatever I receive is my destiny from the karma of the action that I took. So whether it's a thought action that uh, I can think something about someone or I can speak something to someone or about someone to someone else, or I can behave in a way that has a, a behavior towards someone. And even the behavior could be with someone else about the someone that I'm thinking about, right? So this is a big concept to get our heads around that whatever I do is my karma, thought, word, and action. So let's say sometimes we feel like uh, someone hasn't treated me well. And what's our immediate response? They did that to me. Now, if we are able to do this by understanding the law of karma, we can easily move into a space of, it's possible that I've done something to them that was not comfortable for them. And then now they're responding with their karma towards me. And we might even say that, no, I've always only done good things. I've only spoken well to them. I've only um, behaved well with them. And we've become pretty good with handling things on the outside in terms of what we speak or what we do, or many of us have. Our thoughts are something even more powerful. So I can do all the kindest things and smile and be pleasant. And inside my mind, I could be thinking, oh, this person is such a pain in the butt or this person is so not easy. This person is so taking up my time. This person is so not helping themselves. I was not helping me. This person is not in whatever way, some judgment about the person. And I can have that judgment happening in my mind while I'm speaking positively and pleasantly on the outside. And this is really important to recognize because <clears throat> thought energy is a very subtle energy. And that subtle energy, believe it or not, is much more powerful than what we speak or what we do. And this is so important because if we can be in alignment of what we're thinking is then what we're speaking and is then what we're doing, it's a big difference. So you imagine that if I'm thinking not well about anything, not well about whether it's a situation or a person, and oftentimes it's related to people, if I think not well about it, that energy leaves my own mind. It affects my mind, my body, and then it affects wherever I'm sending it, right? So if I don't like another person, it, it, that energy will reach that person too, just even from my thought, but it goes through me first. Now, whatever I've put out there is also coming back to me. So that's a double whammy, right? So I pushed it out because I was thinking it, and then it came back to me or will come back to me in some way, shape or form. And this is a really important concept to think about because I do believe that people have become very comfortable in thinking, well, no one can read my mind, so I can think whatever I want. I'll just be smiling and pleasant, and that's all I have to worry about. That makes me a good person. And really, in terms of karma and the karma that we're sharing with the world and certainly sharing with ourselves, which does affect our thoughts, our own emotions and experience, and our bodies too, all of it matters. And recognizing that what I'm doing is affecting me as well as affecting another because energy travels. So if we are thinking not well about someone, even if we just think, wow, they're so weak. They're so weak. Like I, I wish they just stand up for themselves because they are just so weak in this situation. That comment, that judgment 
is also coming out of our own minds that weakness is affecting so the word weakness is affecting ourselves if we are judgmental in any other way that person is selfish that person is irritating that person is annoying that person is so angry all of those things which might in fact be true but thinking about them actually affects us first and then it actually does affect the other person too so let's say we want someone to strengthen up because we love them we want them to have strength and good health and if we are thinking that this person just doesn't smarten up about what they do maybe they do habits that you know are affecting their health and what's the thing that we can often think is okay like this person is a workaholic and haven't we made that okay when we can say that wow they work so much it's going to affect their body and it does, right? And because we think that we've also added to that energy, so never mind that the person is working too much, and then it's affecting their body, and we're seeing it, we're seeing just the actual fact, but if we're thinking it, it's affecting us too, and then it's also affecting the person to further either make them work more, because we might say, wow, I'm just so amazed with how much you can work, like, how do you do it? That must be so not easy, but I guess you're able to do it, right? So that sort of thing, we think we're giving them a compliment. We're also judging in our own minds that that's not healthy, that's not very good. It's, um, or we might be saying that, you know, I can't do it and you can, and that's, again, kind of an ego perspective. I'm sorry, there's a, a very loud car going by. <laughs> And we can just say that, again, whatever we think is coming through our own minds first. So any judgment that is leaving our mind is then going to affect us too. So someone's going to look at us in some situation and say, how can you do all of that? Wow, that's so amazing. And doesn't that seem like a compliment? Yet, if the background thought from the person is, I don't know, I've seen people work like this before and it hasn't been good for their health, or I'm noticing that their health is not so good with how much work they're doing, all of that is feeding ourselves as well as the person that we're directing the energy of towards, even not consciously, but we're just thinking about these thoughts. So to be mindful of our thoughts is extremely important in our day-to-day -day experiences. So a simple quotation that I came across is by Lawrence Tierney. And this is what I started with. Put good energy out, get good energy back. Sounds so simple, right? Put good energy. And a lot of people, again, you might be really happy with what kind of good energy you put out there in terms of your words or your actions. But think about where your mind is because that subtle energy is even more powerful than what you're doing. And then finally, I wanted to finish with this quotation by Benjamin Speck. No, Benjamin Spock. Ha! Ah, oh my God, it's Dr. Spock. It's uh, Benjamin Spock. It says, trust yourself. You know more than you think you do. Trust yourself. You know more than you think you do. So a lot of times when we are thinking something not kind about someone because we've seen them do something not kind, and then we see perhaps what we might think is the karma on on that person now we might call it karma i'm going to call it destiny the effect of their not good action then affects them and we think well yep what goes around comes around well guess what what we're thinking even if it's to a person that we think is deserving is not a kind thought and that not kind thought is affecting us first and then affecting others and don't think it's only affecting the person you're thinking about because it is definitely affecting ourselves but while we carry that energy we're emanating that energy to everyone around us too so that's really important to remember that it's a very very powerful tool this mind is it is the essence of life i hope that for five minutes after this video you can think about how is it that you think about life experiences events and people I hope that you are focused on making sure that you're putting good energy out there. I wish you a fabulous day ahead and I hope you remember, transform your mind and transform your life. Have a great day, everyone.